Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be working on a recoil for the uh, this 83, 82 or 8, I can't remember. I got too many motors. Uh, this is a 15 horse Sea King by Chrysler. This is the one I've featured on the channel. Uh, got it running. I picked it up at a from a scrapyard for 20 bucks. Didn't have any compression, but it was just a $13 head gasket. Uh, two other issues. Carburetor was put away with fuel in it, and it was pretty corroded. So, got a hold of my good buddy in Grandview, Missouri, Franz Marine. And he sent me out a really nice used, gently used replacement carburetor uh, by this time Chrysler was using wall barrel carburetors made in Michigan but the other issue was the recoil not sure why it wasn't working this looks pretty good I mean it's three quarters there I mean when I got three quarters of tank of gas I'm all right <laughs> I'm just kidding so anyway, that, that's that part. And then one of the other issues with the recoil was uh, this little part on the bottom. This retainer. It's pretty wore out. I could probably still use it, but it's going to hang up a lot because of all the burrs. Plastic. It's plastic, so there's not much I can do to like, file it or sand it down. But the spring is still good, which is awesome because these are over a hundred bucks. One of these. Um, a lot of people are intimidated by the Chrysler recoils. And I got to say, I was intimidated at one time too. Um, but once you figure, once you know how to do it, it's no problem. This is my special tool until I, I'm going to make one more like the factory. Uh, but what it what it is it's just uh, now there's different um, different shafts so you're gonna find the shaft that or the thread on the shaft that you're working on and you're gonna get yourself a screw with the same thread and you got to put two nuts on it because you're gonna turn that down into there and it's uh, right hand threads <clears throat> then you got to get it down in there and tighten it with the jam nut because you got to uh, when you wind the spring you got to turn it counterclockwise and which will unthread that if you don't use the jam nut and get it tight but due to the fact that I'm a two handed guy and one's holding the camera I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot of the process today uh, hope to make future video, but I'm just getting my foot in the door for you guys so you can see how all this goes together. But here's what a good uh, retainer looks like. I'm actually working with my brother and my son. They're gonna. We got a prototype of a of a steel one. We're not sure if we're gonna use stainless or brass, but we got a prototype. We got it started. Um, but the part that we were trying to use for the uh, for the pattern, let's say, was damaged so bad that we're not done with the part yet. But it's getting there. It looks pretty much like this, except for this edge here uh, we didn't have because it was too damaged. This one I just took apart today. So your basic parts are your... Uh, Let's see. You got your gear or your starter pinion, which is this right here. And bracket your uh, upper and lower starter brackets, which are. Uh, This one is the uh, lo the lower one, I believe. 
or no this is the upper one uh, another thing don't take this apart because there's a couple little balls in there that are going to fall out on you what you do is you take it off at this point here take that nut off now i dropped the part down in there and then when you get this arm off it'll let this free without taking what this is is a it's a neutral safety so that you can't start it in gear but there's two little tiny balls down in there and if you take this nut off to get this thing out of there because it's going to be held on with this this uh linkage here it'll be hooked to that uh, stud there and then hooked to this here and so you can't pull this bracket loose unless you take this nut off and get it loose that way so to get this off don't take this off take it off right here because they're like i said there's two little like i can almost see them there's two little balls in there <clears throat> and they will fall off as soon as you take that nut off uh then you got the arbor this here and I'll try to attempt to show you how that works you see that groove in the end of that you slide the spring down a lot of flies out biting today you see how that goes into that groove you got to make sure that that's in that groove I hope you can see this because the screen has got so much glare on it I can't even see what I'm showing you. Just run that down. I got to get my lovely assistant to help me. I just don't know where who that is. <laughs> but that goes in there. And I can't hang on to it to show you. But this, there we go. Look at that. And then there's a hole in this and it goes on like that and then there's one other little thing you need it's part number eight and it's just a tiny little crimp uh they're like five bucks you gotta order one and pay for shipping so it costs you about ten bucks to get this little tiny thing but if you go to the hardware take your spring with you and you go into the tubing section you know your copper tubing get yourself a, a foot of you know you probably got to buy a foot. well i just dropped it but anyway that crimp goes on the end of there and you just cut off a little piece of your tubing and make your own crimp and then you smash it onto the end of that i'll show you on one that's put together what it looks like Instead of spending 10 bucks for this one eighth inch little short piece of soft metal, you can make one out of the tiniest copper tubing that you can buy. And find a shadier spot. Can't even see if you guys are seeing this or not. You see that little piece of tubing on there? Now you can make a lot of those for Ten bucks out of a little piece. You might even be able to buy a shorter piece. I don't know. Depends on your hardware. Because that holds this uh, retainer on there. You just crimp it. So those are the basic parts of the Chrysler starter. You got the upper and the lower brackets. And the arbor. And the spool and shaft. The retainer and the spring and the little uh let's see what do they call part number eight and starter spring well it's it's like a keeper so until i can get somebody to help me by filming this while i'm gonna i want to show you and i'm gonna show you uh also i'm replacing the rope on this and it was a trick you got to put it in through here 
have a hard time like a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest. You've got to put it in through there, and I, what I used was my right angle pick, and I just kept poking and pushing and twisting until I got just enough of it up through there. Now I'm going to recut that, and I'm going to cinch it with the lighter. But I'm going to make a video for all you guys that have your Chryslers, because uh, this seems to be a pretty good sticking point for a lot of guys that have these. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, keep looking, and I'll, I'll get a video together of how the whole thing works. And you can do it. I know you can. Thanks for watching.